Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. And a couple of days ago, or my last video was about doing FD8 on an Android tablet. And while that video performed really well, I got a couple of questions on how to do it on an iOS device, in this case, my trusty iPhone. And uh, that shouldn't be too hard, should it? <laughs> or, or is it really that easy as you would think it is? We're going to take a look at that today. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I ended up doing what I'm doing to make this work and why this works and why my initial thoughts did not work. So uh, with no further ado, how about we get the antenna and the station set up and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Sun just rising, coffee in my mug, got the feeling that today we'll hit the bug antenna up. Sky so high and clear, friends on the airwaves know I'm right here. With my log book ready, call signs in my mind, chasing those frequencies one contact at a time. In the valley where the pine trees sway Got my rig and my iPhone Ready to play a Chinese USDX Five watts is all I got But I'm making contacts In this sweet little spot Ham radio in the great outdoors With FT8 I'm reaching distant shores Parks on the air with my trusty gear Five watts and a dream But the signals are clear So here's to the hands and parks everywhere With a love for the air With the freedom out there With five watts and a wish We light up the night In the heart of the wild so, as you can see, I'm using a monobander vertical for 20 meters. It's ground mounted, and when in doubt, use a garbage can as your mass support. I've done this in the winter time really successfully. It is not as fun in the summer, but uh, nonetheless, a little bit of a smelly deploy of the antenna, but it's up and running. Uh, besides that, uh, let's take a look at the station uh, on the radio side. Radio wise, I'm using the Chinese USDX. And from here, we have speaker and mic inputs and outputs going down to a USB sound card, just a cheap USB sound card that I think I picked up on Amazon. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's one of the cheaper USB sound cards you can get. It doesn't really matter what kind of sound card you use. From there, that goes into a lightning to USB adapter, and uh, I think it's called an Apple camera adapter um, just because my initial thought was to deploy this just with a Apple audio adapter, 3.5 millimeter jack adapter, and then a splitter which splits the signal into microphone and speaker and hook that up to radio. The trouble was with that was that the iPhone did not recognize that there was anything plugged in and didn't want to use either the microphone or the speaker input. So I figured since an Apple iOS device can run an external sound card, that was the way to go, which kind of prolonged this process well because I needed the uh, camera connector, the USB adapter there. But um, Nonetheless, this actually works. Um, there are a couple of caveats to it compared to the Android solution I presented in my last video, though. First of all, it does not support any kind of PTT or cat control. Since the iPhone cannot, well, Apple does not let third-party developers access the serial ports on the device. So this is only a Vox kind of option. So you need to make sure that your radio can handle Vox. As for me, my USDX can handle Vox pretty fine, whereas my 706 is a little bit more picky on the Vox side. It only accepts Vox from the microphone. When you use the audio jack, the DIN port in the back, you actually need to have some kind of uh, mechanism to PTT the radio, uh, which the Apple solution does simply not, it just simply doesn't support it. So. That's the couple of caveats, but we'll still make this work. So let's uh, go ahead, turn the radio on, hook the uh, phone up to the radio, and actually get this working. And as you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty rat's nest of 
cables and adapters here. But that's what makes it work, so why not? And I told you we needed to make sure that the radio is unboxed. So let's go ahead and swipe the menu till we get to Vox. Turn that on. And now we're good. And as you can see, there isn't a lot of FT8 signals on 20 meters today, only an S8, but we'll make it work with what we got. We are going to start the uh, IFDX application here. And I've already spotted myself on the POTA website. So we have the application running here. Let's take a look at the settings here. Whereas I have my call sign, my locator. I've had some troubles using auto locator here, so I've set that manually. 20 meters, we're gonna change it to five watts. Not that it really matters on the power here, but uh, let's just go ahead and do it nonetheless. Um, I have C uh, POTA here. It does not show up as a CQ POTA because we gotta do this here. Like this, CQ POTA. We're gonna hit, uh, keep the answer first here. And I think we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and call and see if it happens. And you can choose your spot by dragging just your finger across here. I like to be on the bottom or the top half of the band when doing QRP. I um, find it less crowded and easier for people to hear me. And we got our first reply here. Golf Zero, Romeo, Quebec, Lima, done over in England. So let's see if we can get him in the log. Or it's not our first reply, it's actually our second and third reply, but let's hope this is the first one we get in the log. I've cut a lot of this video out because QRP FD8 is like watching paint dry. And we've sent him, we got a reply, we've sent him our RR73. Let's just or we're sending the RR73. So let's just um, get the uh, 73 from him, but he's in the log. If you check the log tab here, he's in the log. And you can see one more contact there. That's actually from trying this out yesterday. And we're finished. So I'm gonna leave you guys now for a little while. I'm gonna finish up the activation and we'll draw some conclusions afterwards. Okay, sometimes you can prove a concept as a proof of concept, basically. Not by being successful, but, but by just proving that it works. And today was probably not the best day to go out. I spent a little bit more time doing FD8, didn't hear it didn't get anyone any other stations back to me and then i went to sideband and i swiped all the way through uh, 20 meters and i could hit one station on sideband on 20 meters that might be the radio it's not a really good radio but i've been able to do activations on that before might be band conditions which i suspect i haven't checked the band conditions today uh, i have purposely did not check the band conditions before going out because this is a day off and it's the spot between thunderstorms where I can go out and activate. And not all activations are successful by far. This one wasn't. It's still not a failure though. I managed to show you guys that you can do FD8 on your iPhone. And that's what we're going to talk about now though because it's not the smoothest solution. It's not the easiest solution and it's by far not the best solution. Um, doing it, using a computer or an Android tablet, Android phone is way smoother and way better than this. But if you're like me that carry your iPhone around and say you're at a park or summit and you're doing an activation and you can't get that contact you're missing, then it gives you an option by using almost only what you already bring to get that FD8 contact going. It's not easy, it's not smooth, it does not work perfectly, but it does work. So, if I was you, if you don't have an iOS device, don't even think about this. If you do have an iOS device, well, you can see if you could adapt this setup to work with your radio, with your rig, and see how it goes. It's not really smooth, it's not really simple, but it does work. Um, I'm tempted to say I'm tempted to give this about half a thumbs up for me because the program has done really good work but it kind of fails a little bit 
and being user friendly and that's not the programmer's fault that's apple's fault for locking everything down if this app had been able to access a serial port and actually trig the ptt have some cat control for a radio that would be amazing that would be a really great thing so half a thumbs up for the ft8 on an iphone but it does work and um, I'm gonna pack up. I'm not gonna sit here and struggle with QRP anymore. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna edit this video and I'm gonna do some 100 watt radio and see if that helps. And don't forget to click that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. And I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to this channel. And that's it for now. Until next time, my friends, 73.